Getting started with home wiring mastery is not scary, nor is it difficult, and I'd like to prove that to you. So would you like to be able to master a home wiring repair or a simple project, but don't know where to start? In this video, I'll show you exactly how to get started with home wiring mastery. With a few simple safety tips and some easy to grasp skills, I'll show you why electrical work doesn't have to be a hard, complicated, or an overwhelming process, and how you can get started in the next five minutes. In the last video, I showed you why getting your advice from a how-to manual or from a general home handyman usually isn't the best way to solve a particular problem. And I introduced you to my home wiring mastery and I explained why it's a much better way. So in case you haven't watched that first video yet, make sure you do that right now because we covered a lot of important things and if you're serious about home wiring mastery, you don't want to miss it. Now let's talk about how quickly you can get results with home wiring mastery and exactly how you can get started today. Let's go back to that faulty switch we talked about in that first video and we'll replace it. But the first thing we need to do is find the electrical panel and shut off the power to the circuit. So going back to that faulty switch we talked about in video one, here it is now and I'll show you just how it's behaving. You can turn it on, nothing, flick it a few times and it comes on. Oh, there it went out again. All right, so if I wiggle it a little bit, I know I got some faulty contacts inside that switch, so let's replace it. So here's my breaker panel, and it has a breaker clearly marked seating light smoke detectors, so that's the one I'm gonna shut off. And we're gonna have to still test for power though, because of course my seating light isn't on now, so I can't tell by it going out when I shut off this breaker. I believe all the seating lights in this area are on the same one so let's shut that off and we'll go back to the switch so let's start by removing this face plate and we'll pull out that switch So you just saw me shut off the breaker labeled seating lights and smoke detector but like I said the faulty switch where we can't tell by this light being on or not so you always want to treat everything as if they're hot even though you think you've got the power off so we'll carefully pull this switch out and we will test it with my multimeter okay I've got it set to volts AC it's an auto auto ranging actually we're going to get my meter, one lead on the ground wire back there. And we'll test both these terminals. Zero volts on the black. This switch has a black and a red, but only two terminals. So there you go. We know it's a single pole switch. Now I'm going to go turn the breaker on just to make sure that is the right breaker. That's how we double check things. If there's power here then, shut it off again. We know we've got the power off. So what I'm doing is getting right in on the back ground strap of this box where the ground wire is attached to with one lead. And that's the black lead. And with my red now, testing the black wire, 119 volts. And the switch is on now. And it is conducting now, so it's got 120 volts. So the switch is working now, yeah, and my light is on behind me. But we're going to replace it because we know it's faulty. I'll go shut that breaker off and test again, make sure we're back to zero. All right, my breaker's now off again. Just checking, double check, zero volts on the black, zero volts on the red. So, single pole switch. All it does is close a circuit between these two wires, so it really doesn't matter black on the bottom or red on the bottom. We just take note that we got a black and a red on the two terminals. We'll remove these, put on our new switch. Push that one aside, that's the hot wire.
That's the switch leg up to the light. I'm gonna take this switch, throw it in the garbage because we don't want anybody to assume it's a good one and use it again somewhere and have the same troubles. In the trash. Here's my new switch that I picked up at the hardware store. I'm gonna hook it back up. Again, red on the top. And the black wire on the bottom as it was. Tighten those screws snugly. Make sure your wires go around the terminal in a clockwise fashion. More stuff you're gonna learn in my course and the reason for it, but Obviously, when you turn that screw tighter, it's going to tend to pull that wire around the terminal and make a nice tight connection, wiggle things. It's all good. Now we want to put this back in the box. Making sure nothing's pinched. Start with one of your device screws, put it in part way. Get the other one started while you can still see the hole in the device box. And now you can snug them both in. Center it on your device screw holes. Assuming the box was put in level by the electrician who installed it in the first place. Back goes our cover plate. I always like to line up my plate screws. Some like them vertical, some like them horizontal. But if you line them up nice and straight, it shows you care. If you have one like that, one like that, it looks like somebody didn't take any care and attention into putting this on, and it looks better. Now we'll turn the breaker on and test. Now let's just turn the shot right to that seating light, and I'm going to let you hear the click of the switch every time I turn it on and off and make sure that light responds accordingly. So on, off, on, off. Takes a while for the camera to respond to that light, but you can see it comes on immediately. I can tap on that switch and there's no, no flicker at all to that light. So we've got a good fix. In my upcoming course, Weekend Wiring Warrior, you can expect more practical instruction in these types of simple wiring projects. Plus, this will be backed up with solid foundational training in working around electricity. In addition, you'll learn about all the different types of switches, receptacles, lighting, and more and learn how to do it all with safety at the forefront. So make sure you stay on the lookout because in a few days I'll release more information about it and I'll show you exactly what's included. In the next video in this series, I'm going to share with you the most important part of your home electrical system. Home wiring mastery can only be achieved by understanding the entire system and the heart of that system is your service entrance panel or the breaker box. The breaker box is where most do-it-yourselfers draw the line in the sand. I've heard so many people say to me throughout the years, I'll tackle almost any electrical repair or small project, but I won't go anywhere near the breaker box. And you know, that's just fine. If you're not comfortable with that, then you should leave that part to the pros. But regardless of your comfort level, having a solid knowledge of how the most important part of the system works helps you build the foundation for the rest of what you're going to learn in my course. I'll open up this mysterious beast and I'll show you exactly how it works and explain all the components. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. I can't wait to take you inside the belly of the beast that is the main service panel. You might find out that once you understand how it works, it's really not that scary at all. We'll see you in the next video.